Welcome to the Boiling Point. Last time we actually had Mike Taylor, the crappie king. We've actually got his brother, Stephen Taylor, the bass king. Actually, Stephen is a, a fisherman and actually has won the state tournament, right? Um, last year. Last year. Yeah. So he's the state champion uh, of the Kentucky Bass Federation. So, well, we've got a thousand horsepower boiler that is actually going behind us that we're testing. So you're seeing some steam roll in. Love when I feel the steam around. It's a little warm. Actually, it's cold this morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the steam actually feels pretty good. Now, we talked about the Ohio Special last week, and we're going to talk about an Indiana code um, that is called ASME B311. So he, we're going to be talking a little bit about what Indiana actually requires of the boiler when they come into the state or mm -hmm. when they are installed. Um, and we had the Ohio Special. We actually named this the Indiana Special. Steven is our rental manager, and why did we do that? Uh, Indiana interpreted the code differently than anyone else did 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so this B311 is a power piping code under ASME, and it was under the code, everybody else looked at it like it was a uh, voluntary thing. Indiana said, no, you send the border to my state, it's mandatory. Okay. All this piping has to be on the, on the data reports. We want records of it. So when we started sending rental boilers to Indiana, we realized, hey, this has got to be on there. So we started converting all of our rental units to make sure all that power piping was under the under the B311 code. And that's where that Indiana code name came from. It was something that we came up with. It wasn't, it's yeah. not anything in the code. It's, it's a wear code. Right. So. Is, now, is Indiana the only state that's recognizing this? No. They, actually, B31 or ASME adopted this, and they moved it from a voluntary... Uh, part of the code to now it's mandatory. A okay. few years ago they moved it to mandatory so now every state's going to require it. Some of them still don't recognize it. They still haven't caught up with the code but all the manufacturers are supposed to be putting all this um, materials on the data reports now and, and it's, 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 it's widespread. Everybody's supposed to be doing it. So what actually is the power piping? The, the power piping is anything inside the main valves on the boiler. So it's the blow down lines to the second valve the feed water line to the second valve, so the check valve and, and stop valve, valve both are included. All the water column piping, uh, things like uh, if you have to reduce uh, the coupling for the relief valve, then that bushing in that, in that coupling, that's part of it. If you have to put a spool piece to the header, then up through that header valve, that's part of the B31 piping, B311 code. The other thing is that it applies to boilers over 15 PSI steam. So if it's a low pressure steam boiler, it doesn't apply. It applies to hot water boilers over 160 PSI. Okay. So all of those were adopted that as part of that code. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it. Got some cold and in Indiana and some beautiful steam to end <laughs> this whole thing. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Steven hanging out with us today, talking a little bit about some boiler code. If you'd like some more information, we cover all this stuff in our Boiler University. You can check out our website, find out when our classes are, and come to a class where we have uh, former service technicians that are, that are actually teaching um, about boilers. So like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel and share a video out there. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.